everyone. My name is DeAndra Gallardo, and I would like to welcome you to my master student session. And I will be starting with Bag Lady, which surprisingly is a Motown recorded song. Bag Lady, you gon' hurt your back. Dragging all them bags like that. All right for Bag Lady. So um, the only things like you need to remember to breathe before your phrasing and remember your phrasing so you can know when to breathe. And also uh, just don't overthink where the notes are because sometimes if you overthink where the notes are, then you overshoot the, the pitch a little bit. But other than that, um, okay. So now we're going to find out a little bit about you, Didi. So who is your favorite musician or musical artist who you draw your influences for singing from? Um, so that's a tough question because there are so many people that I like. Um, I really love like Mary J. Blige's passion. Like I literally believe every word that comes out of her mouth when she sings. Um, she has a lot of passion behind her voice. I love um, Tasha Cobb, which is, you know, one of the artists that I chose. Um, there's just too many to choose from. Patti LaBelle, and they're all for various reasons. Um, Whitney Houston is too many to choose, but those are a few of the plenty. So you said why you like Mary J. Blige, but why do you like um, Tasha Cobb so much? Is it her music? Is it um, her voice? Is it the way she styles her songs? Um, what is it? It's a combination of things. I like um, I like her music, and then I like her range. You know, she has a very nice range, and um, I like her spirit behind it. You know, as a gospel singer, because. Sometimes there are gospel artists that um, don't necessarily move you, but she moves me when she sings. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, I have a lot of artists that are that way too. I don't have like one favorite artist. So I, I can understand where you're coming from. So I know that you sing with a church choir. Mm -hmm. So what made you decide to take vocal lessons after singing in a choir so long? Um, good question, especially since I started singing in the choir when I was in elementary school. Um, I don't know. I, it just felt like the time was right, you know, that I wanted to um, improve on my vocals and um, work on having more confidence. And we do get, you know, um, training in rehearsal but we can only do so much in rehearsal when you have 30 or 40 people and one person that's leading so i needed some more um one-on-one -on -one attention so the other day i was a little ashy and <laughs> you know yes light-skinned people get ashy uh, <laughs> and um we were talking and you were talking about a product line that you have so um, I like to hear more about that as I'm sure other people will as well. Okay, well, Essential Love Natural Skin Care, we have been in business for just about three years now. And um, we started off with just whipped body butters and then we moved on to adding sugar scrubs and now we offer hand sanitizers. The body butters and sugar scrubs are both made with a shea butter and coconut oil base. And then we add different essential and scented oils. And the hand sanitizer is made with 99% um, isopropyl alcohol and aloe vera gel or aloe vera juice, depending on which um, type you purchase. Hmm. Okay. I like that the hand sanitizer also has the aloe vera gel in it because a lot of hand sanitizer can be very harsh on your hands and it can actually dry your hands out because of the alcohol content. Uh -huh. Okay, so can you show us what your design and your product line looks like? I sure can. Um, so I just brought with me Daydream, which is um, made with lavender vanilla. This was one of our, our uh, top sellers when we first started. People still love it, but we have, you know, a lot more scents um, since then. But that's how the with body butter looks. I hope you can see it. It does look how good. Many, um, 
How many cents do you have? Different cents do you have? Mm, maybe about 12 or 13. Um, we have seasonal scents. We have summer scents like uh, pineapple and mango and then spring scents like uh, Secret Garden, which is floral. We have the holiday scents, pumpkin, orange spice, cranberry. So we do have seasonal scents as well. Um, this is the um, sugar scrub. It's like a whipped sugar scrub. And then we have our hand sanitizer. So we have the spray and we also have the gel formula. If you can see that. Okay, so if someone wanted to purchase these items, how would they go about doing that? They would go to www.eloveskincare.com and there they will find all of our products. You can um, pay via PayPal or via credit card. We do shipping or you can do a uh, pickup if you want to save a little money on shipping. So is there anything else that you would like to add? Well, I would like to let everyone know how um, this relationship came to be. I actually attended um, your recital in December. My nephew, um, Melvin Jefferson, affectionately known as MJ, he has, um, he's a piano student with you. And you were saying, um, you know, I teach young people. I teach people all the way up to, you know, 70s, 80s. You know, I do voice lessons and then it was everything else was like blah, 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 blah. I was like, voice lessons? Mm -hmm. That's what I zeroed in on. I was like, oh, well, let me get her information so that I can see about um, embarking upon this journey. I'm glad that you decided to join us. You know, it's a delight having you as a student. You're very um, particular. You, you go right to it. You keep, you know, keep me on task. So <laughs> that's a good thing. Well, I want to thank everyone for viewing my master student session. And I do hope that you enjoyed yourself.